Good morning, friends, or good afternoon. Today is Thursday, the 19th of March. It is, although it doesn't feel much like it outside, it is the first day of spring. And I hope that as you see the earth coming back to life around you, that you will take great comfort and peace in knowing that the same rebirth is promised to all of us as children of God. If you're wondering if I've suddenly become just that much more punctual that I have posted this uh, video at uh, hopefully precisely 12 o'clock noon, um, I am not. It is just the fact that I have, will be called away from the church today at noon. I won't be able to be here at noon to do a Facebook Live uh, presentation, and so I have recorded this earlier in the day. The same will probably be true for the next two days, as I probably will not be here at noon. Uh, but I hope that nonetheless, as you watch it at noon or at whatever time you find convenient for you, that it will bring you comfort and peace to know that you are gathering in prayer with your sisters and brothers in Christ. And so now, let us pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The scripture reading today comes from the fourth chapter in the book of Ephesians. Hear these words now from St. Paul. To the Ephesian church. So then, putting away falsehood, let all of us speak the truth to our neighbors, for we are members of one another. Be angry, but do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger, and do not make room for the devil. Thieves must give up stealing. Rather, let them labor and work honestly with their own hands so as to have something to share with the needy. Let no evil talk come out of your mouths, but only what is useful for building up as there is need, so that your words may give grace to those who hear. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, with which you were marked with a seal for the day of redemption. Put away from you all bitterness and wrath and anger and wrangling and slander, together with all malice, and be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ has forgiven you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Show us your mercy, O God and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. 
Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come before you. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. O God, where hearts are fearful and constricted, grant courage and hope. Where anxiety is infectious and widening, grant peace and reassurance. Where impossibilities close every door and window, grant imagination and resistance. Where distrust twists our thinking, grant healing and illumination. Where spirits are daunted and weakened, grant soaring wings and strengthened dreams. All these things we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. O God, in you we live and move and have our being. Guide and govern us in this day by your Holy Spirit that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but remember that always we are walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Um.